Alright, what's going on guys? Luca with another PvP build for the Lost Death you see. Remember my Magic Casso with a classic one pet build with the Twilight Pet with Neko Potence on the back bar for a ton of Magicka which increase our shield size. Then front by the craftable sustain set, which vitality, which gives a ton of Magicka and stamina region, which we need for the Psygic Stamina Sparable Crushing Weapon, which provides major breach, almost 6k penetration. Really powerful. A Smithic, the strongest one for a Magicka source or Death Eater's Feet, which gives a ton of Magicka Stamina and Health. And Shudan as monster set. As a pet sorcerer, we don't really have bar space for our resistance buff, Boundless Storm. That's why you just use Shudan for the resistance buff. And as filler, like always, 25 HP. I'm on 5 light armor pieces, 1 heavy chest for extra resistance, and 1 medium armor shoulder just for the undaunted passive, so we gain a maximum amount of max HP stamina and max magicka. Traits 5 impen and 2 were fitted. Prismatic glyphs on only the big pieces, the rest max magicka glyphs. Then full arcane on the jewelry with two prismatic glyphs and one spell damage. Inferno front bar in sharpened with the flame damage enchant. Alternative go with the shock damage enchant for minor wound. Back bar still sword and board for extra resistance and more max magica. Powered and well fitted with the escape poisons. Quick look on our skills. The twilight pad on both bars. Daily Prey, the Pet Curse, they increase the damage from 20 to 45% extra pet damage, really powerful. Then Crush your Weapon, like I said, the Psychic Stamina Spammable, which provides Major Breach, almost 6k penetration, really powerful. Crystal Fragment and Streak for Mobility and Stun, still Greater Storm Artonark, Big Bar. Both shields, Stamp Magic and Hardened Ward. Bound Aegis, they also buff this one. If you activate it, it gives now minor protection for 20 seconds. Pretty powerful. And on top still the extra 8% Max Magicka just slotted. And minor resolve for extra 3k armor. A really powerful skill. Dark Conversion for sustain and healing. And Spare War as defense for ultimate. Race High Elf, best choice. Extra weapon spell damage, max magicka and region. Second best choice would be probably Breton or Danmar. Mundus the mage for extra magicka and sugar scouts as buffered. All attribute points in max magicka. Potions, I use three different potions. The spell power potions, the detection potions against annoying night blades and against multiple targets, depends on the situation, the twice set potions. CPs, Daddy Aim, Master Arms, Ironclad and Doos Rebuff, Red Ones, Pain Suffuge, The Simple Suffering, Shipmaster, and Bastion. Quick talk about one PvP combination, start always with Daddy Prey, into Crushing Weapon, into Crystal Fragment, and Sweek. Try to time Daddy Prey with Crystal Fragment. At around, let's say, one second, use Fragment into Streak for a triple combination. Fast pace, Daddy Prey, Crushing Weapon, Fragment into Streak. Alright, I will leave you with the gameplay footage. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace. Don't play with my heart. Just let me go. Please let me go. You like to love so hard and then you throw it away.
parents never gave you hugs And there's a child you will never love But you make me love so hard But then you throw it away You love to open scars And then you blame it on me You're someone I can never be with You joke about my flaws and weaknesses Stay close to me. I don't want another, I just want to breathe. And you take me high. 